Hey guys, so welcome back to Keter's Verb. And I today want to tell you about dairy-free keto fats. So this is Rebecca and she'll be joining us for this video because she does not sleep ever. So I transitioned from paleo to keto. So I was already used to being dairy-free. And the number one question I get in the keto forums and the Facebook groups that I participate in is what kind of fats do you eat on keto if you don't eat dairy? Because there's heavy whipping cream and cheese and all sorts of yummy dairy fats that are amazing and wonderful, but I can't eat them. And my response to them is there are so many, so many dairy-free keto fats. There's like a million things and there are substitutions for almost everything. Um, the biggest fat that I use is coconut milk. So there's coconut cream, coconut milk, coconut butter, coconut oil. Those have a lot of fats in it. There are also other plant-based oils like sesame seed oil has a lot of fats, olive oil has a lot of fats, grapeseed oil I think has fat in it. Even things like eggs have fat in it. So if you're counting your macros and you're being really specific you should have no trouble meeting that fat macro. There are other like animal-based fat. There's lard, tallow, and duck fat, which are really good. Um, but I would say some of the ones that people don't think about when they're thinking about dairy-free keto is the fatty meats. So if you're eating chicken thighs, that has a lot of fat. If you have a really nice, amazingly like fatty steak, that's a really good source of fat. Even things as simple as avocados have fat in them. So even if you don't like coconut, because there's a lot of people out there that don't like coconut taste, um, you can even use MTC oil as a fat. It doesn't have that coconut taste, but it, it's a really good fat that your body can break down really easily. And I put it in my bulletproof coffee or tea in the mornings. If you want to know what kinds of fats I incorporate into my food, um, my website is linked down below and I have tons of breakfast, dinner, lunch, and snack recipes, desserts that are all dairy-free keto. And it's totally and completely possible to be dairy-free keto, to eat a lot of good fat, to be in ketosis, and also to enjoy what you're eating. Because let's be honest, if I'm not gonna enjoy what I'm eating, I'm probably not gonna do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any other questions about dairy-free keto or my keto journey. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.